Is there a logic behind every painting, every work of art? Is there a concept? I will show you with this work behind me. My name is Astrid Moors. I'm of the visual order. And you can see that very clear in this work behind me. Still in progress. It does feel a bit strange to talk about a work that's not finished yet. I think that's the issue for more artists. I like to see the work in progress of others. So that's why I think it might be interesting for you as well. Correct me if I'm wrong. But is there a concept behind every work of art? I think there is. There's always a message the artist wants to convey. I will tell you about this work with a story. I will start at the beginning. I'm part of an artist group called About a Woman. And we make exhibitions about women in art because in history we were forgotten a lot. And now sometimes gender is still a basis on judging if the work is good enough or not. Until there is equality, it's necessary to address the position of women in art. At the beginning of 2020, we made an exhibition called Girlhood. I showed this work. And in the end of 2020, we made an exhibition called Sissa. And I made this work of art. And for the next show of About a Woman, I'm making this work, this series of works. 12 paintings, mycelium is called. The show of About a Woman is called Witte Wieven, White Women. White women are, among other things, natural phenomenon in the east of the Netherlands, like uh, fog patches over sandy lands. They are also associated with witches, like in the Celtic banshees. My interpretation, mycelium, is an interpretation of both the natural thing and the mysterious things about Witte Wieven. A network of fungi underground and on top where they sprout, there are mushrooms. So this work, you can see mushrooms from different sides. Some mushrooms make circles, fairy circles. In my work I use the nebularis because it makes fairy circles. For this show, I'm going to make a vertical circle. I put a painting on the ceiling as well. It's the mushroom scene from underneath, under its cap. And I'm going to put a painting on the floor and then you can see the mushroom from above. There's my logic. And because of the position on the wall, you can also see where it's at. So. Uh, higher on the wall, there is more air and more low on the wall, there's less air, so more earth. A connection between heaven and earth. And in the background of each painting, there is a um, rhythm of squares. I split it all vertical sizes of the paintings in five equal parts. So the larger the painting, the larger the parts and triangles. And that has a reference to a door stylus in ancient times, protecting against evil. If you're interested in this, you can read a lot. Often it can be traced back to treating nature with respect. This work is not finished yet. I made all the conditions for this work to run its course. Come and see in the exhibition in XPO in Enschede in May. Or watch my next video. I will show the work when it's finished. And I can't live on eyeballs alone. So, buy art. Thanks for watching. The concept of this artwork is treat nature with respect. Everything is connected.